Dear friends, a new year has finally arrived. A very emotional and overwhelming year has finally come to an end. And as hard as it was, it was the year of growth. I recently read a quote that sums it up almost perfectly. Maybe last year was helping us to take less for granted, to appreciate the beauty of nature and the beauty of people in our lives, the beauty of presence. What happiness means outside of anything material, what it means to show up when it's difficult and when things are hard. Maybe last year was teaching us how to pay attention to the relationships in our lives, to really connect with people in our lives who save us, who heal us, and who make us want to get up in the morning. And maybe in a way, that year was also teaching us how to connect with what doesn't matter. Maybe it was helping us to take inventory of the space we hold in our lives for the things that don't deserve it, or value it, or honor it. Maybe this next year is going to teach us how to defend our hearts, our energy, our hope. Maybe it's teaching us how to let go and in more ways than what's obvious. Maybe it's teaching us how to reconnect with what truly ignites us, what truly deserves to stay. It is such a beautiful day. I feel like magic has kissed the mountains. There's the sun out, it's shining and it's warm and the wind is blowing the snow off of the trees. It kisses my face. It just feels like I'm not even on earth, like I'm in heaven today. It's this feeling of falling in love where everything just awes you and everything makes you feel giddy and bubbly and happy. I really used to have really kind of hard feelings towards winter and I anticipated the depression and sadness and lack of motivation and positivity that I used to feel during winter. But I made it a goal to this year be the year that I fall in love with winter and I've been working so hard at it and it's been paying off. I love it. And now I actually don't want it to end. I'm finally falling in love with the snow and the sun setting early and having that extra cozy time in the evening and the way it feels coming in and sitting by the fire after like a really brisk and cold evening walk in the snow. It just feels like I don't, I, I don't even have words to describe it. My body just is tingling with love for this season now. I came out here and now I don't want to go back. I just want to stay up in the mountains all day. I think it's 27 degrees right now, but it doesn't even feel that cold because the sun has been out. Come here. Are you playing in the snow? Are you having the best time? Hey, should we go down to the ice? We go play on the ice. Okay, that's where we're gonna go next. Let's go, buds.
focus on the future too much and I set all of these goals for the new year and everything that I wanted to do and how I wanted to improve and be better and do better. But this year I really just want to live in the present and live each day as if it's a gift because it really is. And the more I think about it like that, the more I'm full of joy and happiness and hope. Even just right now, there are these kids playing out on the ice and the sun is setting and I, I didn't feel like this last year. And I swear it's like I drink from some magical tea or something, but just shifting that perspective of winter and living more simply and romanticizing the things that I struggle with has honestly changed everything. I'm so happy. Oh, it is beautiful out here. Like I'm on this freezing ice, <laughs> freezing, but I'm still just having the best time. This is just absolute heaven. Hello friends, it is so cold today. I brought up some cookies and some hot chocolate and I thought that we could just have a little toast to the new year. There's nothing like a hot drink when you're somewhere really cold and it's windy and then you just get this warmth that goes throughout your whole body. Mm, that's the best. And then I have some cookies. Let's dip it in the hot chocolate. Life is just so good. These are the moments that I live for. And I can't think of any better way to welcome in the new year. As this new year starts, I hope that you are able to just focus on 
accepting who you are and doing the things that make you happy because that has been one of the biggest things that made a difference for me. So cheers friends to a beautiful new beginning.